Welcome to another Gone Roger. We've got a voyeur over here in the form of Chloe just staring us down as usual. What, Chloe? I think she wants to go for a walk. No walks today. Kevin's lazy. You can sue me. And now you're going to come back for one. Anyway, the topic hand. We were unboxing this Lorcan. Actually, I was learning how to play Lorcan because, you know, you got to play it this Saturday. And of course, these guys are going to fight in the middle of the video now. They're quiet up until this point. And now I'm going to get bit. Hi, dogs. And completely hijacked. Okay, not your show. It's, it's, it's time to do a Magic the Gathering video or Lorcana video. Anyway, so I was looking at Lorcana and learning how to play it because we have an uh, event coming up on Saturday. And now I came to an epiphany. This sucker makes so much sense now. These, this IP grab by Wiz the Coast makes so much sense. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw a theory out there and see if people agree with me. So in the design community, I don't think that people can keep tight lids on things. I bet I get there's there's got to be leaks, there's got to be chatter, and my whole theory is that Wiz the Coast employees, uh, the designers, they saw Lorcana being implemented, being made, being designed, and realize rot row, there is nothing proprietary about Magic the Gathering. Uh, there was I can't remember what the case. Someone in the comment section can. Tell me, but I believe it was around Monopoly. I believe there was some game that just um, tried to copy like Risk or Monopoly. This is clear back in the day in, in the board game. And it went all the way, I don't know if it went to a district court or even whatever court it went to, but it got ruled that uh, you cannot copyright or you cannot patent like game mechanics. And it's come to the point that, I mean, I've never seen a game so brazen, so brazen in Lorcana. There have been other games that's like, okay, they use the seven cards, they do use the 60 card deck, they use similar life totals. They even look at like Flesh and Blood, it uses a lot of the similar things as, as Magic. Even Pokemon, the very first one that really kind of tapped into what Magic is doing. Or people can even go back that all Magic was just kind of a, uh, a rip off of these other games that existed before it. Uh, had a lot of similar things with how the tempo, the flow, the cards, the life, that sort of stuff. But Lorcana, I've never seen a game such a blatant rip off of Magic the Gathering at basically sorcery speed. So it kind of took like Hearthstone, mixed it with Magic and called it good because um, Lorcana, uh, looking through it, everything, everything in this sucker is Magic the Gathering. The 60 card deck, the seven cards that you start with, the first person doesn't draw a card during their turn, the 20 life total, the t power and toughness on creatures, like uh, even the, the five, there's five colors in Magic that have different um, strengths. The six colors in Lorcana, are pretty much like like the we have the six different colors here even the color schemes like a red green plays like a frog in the blender type style uh, that magic of the gathering was known for of, of kind of mixing those two colors of uh, direct damage plus tough creatures fast tough creatures the has like even a white weenie aggro strategy and you mix it with red it feels like boros like this game was such a blatant ripoff of magic that ink, the ink has to dry summoning sickness i mean i could just go down the list of over and over and over things that are just so center magic that i bet they freaked out and said okay we got to start ip grabbing we got to start putting our mechanics on games or buying the license games before we see more things before we see a star wars magic before we see a well in this case a warhammer magic or we see a marvel magic coming out so that is why i'm thinking this universe is beyond is going nuts and the same thing can be said about this sucker with D&D. They are trying to grab on as many IPs as possible to implement their, uh, what do you even call their new D&D, Zach? It's not 5th edition anymore. Here you're a D&D player. It's D&D 1. D&D 1? Yeah, it's like going back to 1. But yeah, they're doing a lot, huh. I've noticed they're just doing a lot of that stuff too one D &D. in 1 D&D. It's called 1 D&D. &D. 1, 1 double D? 1 D&D. 1 D&D. 1 D&D. Um, yeah, so it's just, so now it kind of makes sense. So a lot of us were kind of, I talked to a good friend of mine, and when he quit, he quit Magic over two things, it was over Universe of Beyond, other words, there's just absolute sheer greed from Magic 40. And he said that, and I agree with him, that Magic didn't feel like Magic anymore, it felt like that they were just licensing their game mechanics off to other IPs. And so it lost the Magic, you know, the whole universe of Magic. So first of all, I think they had like killed Magic when do you say Zach the Gate Watch was this dying before then? Oh, the, the Gate Watch was really when tried to I turn was into mad. the Avengers. Yeah, the Avengers and in the storylines just became pure I crap. Got drink. I, just, I just went to the gym and tried to get buff. Yeah, that's why you wanted to do people, the video. Flex the people at Magic Summit that I'm going to. Ah, been a long time since I actually went to a Magic event. So anyway, where was I going with this? 
So I, I've kind of changed my opinion now on Universes Beyond. Yes, I think it's a money grab. Yes, I think it's a uh, like I, it's 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 watering down the magic universe. But now it just makes so much sense. They are so threatened by Lorcana, and they rightfully should be because this again, I understand copyright, and I'm not a big fan of patents and copyrights and and stuff like that because I think that you know you should, you should let innovation take shape and you know make, make the best game win or the best way to innovate win. But there's a certain point like wow. If I was Richard Garfield, if I was Magic the Gathering, I would be pissed right now at just the blatant ripoff of Lorcana. Now, a lot of people too are starting to say that, and I agree with them, that Lorcana might end up being a gateway to Magic the Gathering, so it actually might be able to lead into it because it is more simplistic. There's a lot less things you can do with it. Now, after playing a few games or running through a few scenarios of it, it, I mean, just getting rid of the stack right there, it takes the complexity of Magic from a 10 down to a, a four, in my opinion. Uh, because that's all the, the massive complexity with magic is that stack is the timing is knowing how things i mean you have some static abilities on items and stuff and and and, and uh, creatures in this deck in this uh uh game and i i realize yes this is the very first set of this game that has come out and so in the future they can they can uh you know fool around with maybe new types of cards maybe new static abilities triggered abilities those type of stuff but just not having the stack and not being able to interact on other people's turn, I think takes the complexity way down and it's gonna leave people wanting for something that's more complex and more canon. So in the end, it might kind of be, because Pokemon definitely is a gateway drug to magic. We have so many, how many people have started in Pokemon? Oh, here so many. Store? It's like once they turn 12, 13, 14, they want something more complex. We, we can go back to our, tell me chase this story, because I'd say it all the time, but if you had, go back to some of our Rogers, go back about two years, we had a um, uh, person one of our children, we like to call them because we, we raise these kids here. They uh, end up, there's one behind the counter now that's uh, being raised. No, he was here, it's like... <laughs> so, so anyway, we always have these, these, uh, these uh, kids that just, you know, hang around. And, and sometimes they, they come in, uh, like in Talmadge's case, he, he was, we met him when he was you know, too young for Magic. He was playing Pokemon. And he was like, I'm never, ever going to play Magic. Magic's stupid. It's such a dumb game. I'm going to stick with Pokemon. And then, you know, they start to weed into it because there's only so much you can do with Pokemon. And then all of a sudden it's, uh, you know, then they, their eyes are opened up to it. It's kind of how this nerd was back here. You were a D&D &D player, right? Right. And then yep. the, How's the, magic? You like it? Yeah, it's fun. You're going to take over for Kevin someday, right? And may actually make decks. You can re I'm going to retire and then you can be, you can be the new rogue deck builder. He's the only one actually building decks yeah, in here. Yeah, well, I need to do a top 10 list of cards I want to brew around with. Uh, Eldraine, I haven't looked at the set yet. It seemed like two cards, so need to get on it but anyway yeah that's kind of my rant for today with Lorcana, and it just going back to the full circle here it just makes so much sense so I, I don't know if i blame wizards anymore that they're going this direction because this is this is just they this is the only way that they I can just protect. don't want a new product every month that's well, I know my that. issue but that's why they're going to an assassin's creed that's yeah. why they're going into final fantasy so that's where they're going into doctor who that's where they're going into what's the other ones there's tons of stuff oh, they're going I, into i can't even keep track anymore I mean, if they do this, if they license the IP, I don't think that Warhammer, I think this is, they could have some legal grounds if Warhammer were to try to make a, a, a deck building game because they purchased or re, or um, licensed the IP to actually do something with it. And I bet that's what they're probably kicking themselves from. They should have gone on top of Disney. They should have tried to, you know, do a collab or whatever before something like this. Because again, I don't know. I'd like to see anyone that's a Lorcana cultist, so I like to call them, because some of you people are nuts. I've seen you online and you, the way that you're, you are uh, hero worshiping this game so much. I've it's seen it before. A every, pathetic. I'm gonna be a little pathetic. Uh, what are you talking right about? <laughs> little. It's happened every other game too, though. How many? Let's see here. How many of every single other game have they been that? Well, yeah, so, they, oh, this is the best it. ever. Everyone's and so then. desperate for alternative magic because we are still kind of ticked off at Magic: The Gathering. Yes. I don't think that there's anyone that went through 2022 20, that wasn't like in some way jaded by Wizards of the Coast. Um, mm. And we're just all desperate for an alternative. Me, that's myself. I really got into some other games, hoping I could like, you know, find something just kind of stick it to the man, stick it to Wizard of the Coast for all the you know, terrible decisions they've done. But again, I, this is just. I, I think it's the only way for Magic to go forward. I mean, this it it's also makes sense to them too with creating new cards and things like that because their reprint is just they just trash their um, ability to, to get people excited over reprints. So uh, yeah, that's that's the way to go. So I don't know. I don't know. Weird. It's a brave new world we're in with the yep. CCGs. So again, we're gonna try out but, Lorcana. We're gonna we're gonna test it out. But so far, it's just I'd it's a watered down, watered down dumb version of Magic, in my opinion. But I hope people don't get. It's, it's my opinion. Don't have to you know downvote me and get upset just because I don't. It's just I don't Disney think it's though. My, 
my uh, uh i love disney see the thing is you're a big hater of disney and it's just, just and I, 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 yeah that's my I problem disney's, disney's fine I, just okay if you say so so we'll see we'll see the another reason too is like we've got these starter decks and i can't for the the cheap skate and we just can't for the life of me open up any packs to like upgrade this you just so, opened up uh, two today but uh, two but i mean i'm not going to start chasing to like upgrade oh these decks yeah or yeah 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 like i did with like flesh and blood or, we just we only i opened a few on tiktok and the ones that were in the the decks and that's like it at the moment yeah the market's so. kind of weird still it still seems like it's like full fluctuating a bunch yeah well there are some 20 cars. 30 50 dollar cars there i think there was like $60? six cards yeah they were like 60 to 20 dollars plus there's a bunch of like two three dollar cards yeah so. there's a bunch of two three dollar cards and but stuff I mean, the too is still so super low. But you can yeah. say that you can say this it doesn't matter though because if the supply increases more people so i mean it's the tarmogoyf effect yeah um if that was a we'll have to talk about tarmogoyf effect someday because uh, we watched it in real time when I, we were, I was down in Vegas for Modern Masters One. That's how old I am. I attended Modern Masters One. It was 2013, in, in right? I don't know when no. it was. Some 14, 15, 15, 14. No, because there was Modern Masters 2015. Yeah, it's 2013. You're correct. Yeah. Holy cow, I'm old. Wow. You didn't even exist back then. Where were you? Cool. We bite him. Get his feet. So. Um, oh wow. Well. Yeah, 2013, and uh, like. The reprinting of Tarmogoyf actually made it more accessible, which made people... It actually created the demand for Tarmogoyf going up after the reprint. And so you could kind of see that Lorcan is, once it becomes even more accessible, it means there's more people actually like, well, now I'll build a deck. And it could actually like lead to the more demand of, of the cards and the even supply brings into it. But anyway, that's a whole sort of game. I'm definitely rambling. The dogs are getting restless. They're going to start doing whatever that is. Bruce, come help. Well, Bruce doesn't want to Bruce, you okay? Uh, Alright, next video tomorrow we'll find something to rant about. Alright, whatever. Oh. Bye.